during this demo I will show you the entire process of client-side attack how to create the payload the most effective delivery method until we hack the target after this demo we will analyze every part of the simulation so do not worry if you don't understand any detail because I will explain everything after the demo. This simulation is related with sending malicious link to the target. Let's see. The first step is to create the malicious payload. We will use Kali Linux and Metasploit framework to create that payload. The attacker machine is Kali Linux and the victim machine will be Windows 7 or Windows 10. Here I am at my Kali Linux machine. We will launch Metasploit framework with MSF console command. The Metasploit framework is a very powerful tool which can be used by ethical hackers to attack different targets by using scripts inside the Metasploit. The reason why we use Metasploit is that we want to use scripts that are already compiled to launch the attack. Inside the Metasploit we have exploits, payloads, that I will explain all in details after the simulation. So let's start with the process of creation, the payload, the, payload, the malicious payload. We will use command use and the path of the particular malicious payload that we want to use. For this example, I would like to use the HDA server payload. With info, we can get more details about the malicious payload. With the command show options, we have to configure some of the settings inside the payload. For example, I have to configure lhost, that is localhost, my Kali machine IP. I have to configure L port, that is a random local port. And for this example, I have to set also the server host IP that is the same with my Kali IP. Why we have to set these settings? Because we want the attackers to wait for the client, the victims, for example. I want to wait for different targets to come to my IP address. So the first step inside settings the configuration is to set up the IP and a random port. With the command IP config we can see our local IP that is currently running on local operation system. With the command set lhost, we can set up an IP. With the command set l port, we can set up a port, a random port, and also set server host and putting my local IP. If you run 
show options again you will see that your setting will change also i would like to use the payload it's a way how to connect between my Kali machine the attacker machine and the victim machine i will use reverse tcp letting the others come to me because i want to bypass all the firewalls between the attacker machine and the victim machine as you see we have all the configuration done server host local host local port also the payload reverse tcp with a command exploit we will create the malicious payload as you see we create a link and this is the first step when we create a link another step or the next step is how to find a delivery method to send this link how to find the most effective ways to send that malicious link that we create early for this demo i will choose to send by email the malicious payload for the purpose of the demo i have choose a temporary email to send my payload because i want to send a customized email to trick the users to click my payload now as you see i'm pretending to be an it administrator from the university which i will send to random employee the email with malicious payload with a mention to click on it because it is from an it department right so as you see the customized email from name is updates from the university from email it underline administrator university.com you can write everything or anything what you want uh, as you see the content email dear employee please follow new critical updates on the link below centrally it administrator and now i put the malicious link also i need to uh, customize or to write which employee i'm sending this email and the subject for the subject i used to write new updates and I'm going to send crenar.education at gmail.com with a mention that the user will click on it. The third step is waiting for the user to click the payload that link that malicious link and enjoy the ethical hacking malicious url or a link is created with the purpose of promotion scams attacks and frauds for example by clicking on an infected url you can download ransomware trojan or any other type of malware that will compromise the target machine in our case will be windows 10 or 7. all of this we will see during the practical way now it's time to enjoy the ethical hacking if the user click on that link for this demo, I will use reverse connection to connect with target because I want to bypass firewalls and router security restriction. 
everything I will explain after this demo. But since it's the first demo, I just wanted to introduce you with the process of how to attack the client side. Let's see. In background, I have my attacker machine that is Cal Linux waiting for victims and in the right side I have one of the victims that is trying to open email and maybe click on it let's see what's happened after he or she click on it as you see this is the most important concept in attacking client when we have session open what does it mean we are inside the target and we hack the sec the system we create a session between my attacker machine that is Kali machine and windows target why we have sessions because in the same time we can have multiple victims from different systems so you can choose which target you want to interact with it Metasploit has a bunch of additional tools that help us to manipulate the target and steal the sensitive information. Now we have an automatically open the session. As you see, uh, my IP address 10.0.2.5, it's connect with 10.0.2.7, the victim machine. Session E1 Now I am interacting with the target machine. And if you type help command, for example, you will see all the additional commands to use to manipulate with victim. As you see, sysinfo tells us that we are inside the target in Windows 7. And with ls, we see some files that are in desktop. And as you see, we have... Uh, just one folder, Krenar, and I'm going to simulate something just to see the interaction between the target machine and my Kali Linux. I'm going to the victim and try to create a file, for example, password. I'm trying to write something username krenar underline education password now let's get back to my Kali machine and try to list the files and folders as you see we have a new file here password.txt that we create on the target machine we can download that file and see what have inside with a command download password.txt we can download as you see now we have a password.txt in our Kali local machine we can open with nano command and we will see as you see we can manipulate with victim in easy way 
with the help command we will see that we have a bunch of commands that we can use in easy way to manipulate with victim for example now i am installing the spyware to record all the keystrokes on the victim's machine let's see key scan underline start install the spyware here and every keystroke what the victim is trying to type with keyboard i will see it for example i'm trying to connect on the social media If we go back to Linux and we type K scan underline down, we see all the keystrokes that the target has typed. For example, coinart.education at gmail.com and the password ne123456, something like this. We can uninstall the spyware, we can install additional malware here we can take a screenshot of the victim we can see in real time what is he or she doing on the desktop we have a bunch of commands that we can use in easy way to manipulate with victim